this is the end of her, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Which answer are you looking for? I don't understand. I say we're fine and you're off the hook. You don't have to feel guilty about abandoning us because we're fine. No, no, that's not Or it. I say we're all broken up about it and you get to feel loved and missed. So which one are you looking for? Here's the answer. You don't get to know. You're not a part of our lives anymore. We don't owe you any closure. Sure, no problem. Hey, I love you. And uh, it's been a while since we got to talk in real time, huh? Magnificent. How's civilian life? Work? I'm kind of unemployed. Oh. How's everything Brother? going with... Yeah. We haven't been in touch for a while. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You gotta stay positive. I'm staying realistic. Some things can't be fixed and sometimes you're a fucking moron to try. Oh, okay, that's no way to be. Look, I, I came all this way to patch things up with Talissa and Mellis. Jesus and fucking Christ, if you wanted to be your son's hero, you should have shown up three years ago. What? Get it through your head. It's over. Move on. Bobby. This was not a good day for this. I'll see you later. Wow. I know where my son is. She told him. Sorry, I was distracted there. That's incredible. Where is Philip? Palace Station. But he won't be there for long. I have to go there now. Then we'll do whatever it takes to get the Rossi ready to roll. I chartered a freighter bound for Palace. It leaves in a few hours. Okay, I'll get packed. No, I... No, she's on her own. She's on her own. I leave in a few hours. No! You don't want me to go with you. No, she doesn't. Philip's father is Marco Inoros. What? If I show up with an Eartha, with James Holden at my side, it's only going to make things harder. I'll stay up with the freighter. At least then I'll be close if you need any help. You can't help me with this. And I don't want you to. If this is the end of her, I'm going to fucking lose it. I've somehow been able to live with the fact that I saved myself and couldn't save him. This may be the only chance I ever have to see him. His father is gonna get him killed and if I don't at least try and stop that from happening. I'll never be able to live with that. City. 
look at it. Oh my god. The visuals in this. Jesus. Hey, Miss Burton. Are you and Miss Burton? First of all, I didn't start it. And second of all, they were all alive when I walked out. We're not here to arrest you, sir. With your escort. This way. What? What's going on? Is, he, is this Earth? Oh no, just seen him. Is it Luna? What am I talking about? Oh my god! Let's get it on. You look like shit. You look amazing. <laughs> what are you doing here? I thought you were like Queen of Earth. Nah. Why are you going back to Earth? That's none of your business. You will not clear customs until you tell me. Wow. A friend of mine died. She was important to me when I was a kid. I'm going back to Baltimore to settle her affairs. Right. Can I go now? Sit. I'm here for this all day. You and I have very different life experiences, Chrissy. Don't call me that. I'm a member of Parliament, not your favorite stripper. You can be <laughs> both. Do you want to know what I'm doing here? I'm chairing a Blue Ribbon Commission to improve and accelerate UN immigration to the Rain colonies. Personally appointed by the new Secretary General, because she thinks it's funnier than telling me to go fuck myself. <laughs> I have news about our friend in the belt. Do you intend to kill anyone down there? I won't bail you out if you do. Can I go now? Wow. Did you hear about the science ship that disappeared near Venus a few weeks ago, the Asami? They found this. And possibly a known in our faction ship. Why would Marco Inaros destroy a science ship? I'm not convinced he did. The match was only 53.7%. That's a coin toss, so don't get too excited. Too late. <laughs> Damn it. Don't know how to get there fast enough, are they? We for decade. So <laughs> too up for the stairs. Well, brilliant first episode. I'm very happy with that. Um, really just sort of positioning everyone ahead of what's to come so we know where everyone is. So Amos is heading to Earth, to Baltimore, to pick up with, I want to say her name was Lydia, but I'm not sure if that was her name or not. Oh, yes. 
the woman that sort of I think she maybe was like a madam at the brothel or something um but was like the only mother he he really had um so he's trying to sort out that business Alex is on Mars and nothing seems to be going right his family don't want to see him Bobby doesn't want to see him she's busy with her own shit and he's now looking at ring things so i'm guessing he's going to take off before his kid gets back i'm assuming that we're not going to see alex much because of the kazam var um disgrace so i'm just feeling a bit awkward watching him at, at, at all to be honest but um we'll we'll just get through that i really really loved the exchanges between a vassarella and um and amos i'm really enjoying the growing kind of flirtation with them that we saw a lot more of last season and now we're getting to see them what they're like together this season i liked his little flash of his bum as he left her office that was really cute um yeah i just i love their chemistry it's gorgeous i i literally ship them i i'd be quite happy for those two to get together It'd be fine by me um but Avasarala is working with um, Bobby on basically tracking down Marco and Aros. So she's working her way through the channels that I guess she began with Isai Martin last season to actually make their way to the sort of the sorts of people with the sorts of access in, you know, that trade to to be able to track him down. I'm so glad that Bobby made sure that Isai's family got where he was trying to get them um that's just so beautiful it would have that's a lot of cash um that she has made sure got to where it needed to get to so oh she's our own little robin hood i love her i loved all of her scenes in this i just i can't take my eyes off her so that's bobby and obviously amos we saw not dealing very well with having killed his girlfriend it's clearly shaken him quite a lot and he doesn't seem to quite know where to put himself and he's very hair trigger so I'm guessing he is going to be a man to be reckoned with this season. I kind of feel like there's some unfinished business maybe that he's going to sort out. Maybe those people who kept him in a basement and sexually abused him when he was a kid might be about to meet their comeuppance. I don't know but he looks like a man on a mission. I think that was kind of what Avasarala was referring to. Um, so that was fantastic. Love that. And then, of course, we've got Naomi now finds Philip. She's off to, to find him. I think it was the right call. I don't fault the logic of her going on her own. I think I don't think this is something that Jim can help with. There's no I mean, it's going to be hard enough for her to open a dialogue with Philip at all. But with the representation of Arthur by her side it's definitely never going to happen but like I said I still Marco is such a controlling influence that I do not put it past him to do what it takes to get his family back together not because he loves Naomi or wants just for, for his own ego and I'm worried that he's going to basically kind of blackmail it's like a black man and a bride, but essentially emotionally manipulate Naomi into giving up her freedom to be with Philip. Because I think there would always be a bit of Naomi that would think she could save Philip over time if she can get close to him again. So it would, even if she didn't go into it, um, even if she went into that with her eyes open, with her own strategy, I think it's still a very dangerous game because Marco is not a person you know he is that is a very dangerous narcissistic personality there and i don't think you know you get within five feet of that guy and you're just sucked into his orbit and you know you can see how completely fucking warped philip is that's what marco turns people into because he brings them into his reality and that's a scary place to be that's why Naomi had to leave because there was no staying even if it meant leaving Philip there and now she's she can't live with you know 
now she there is a potential that she is strong enough to be able to actually deal with Marco, she cannot not do that because that it's different and I totally get in her world those how those things are different um and how she feels absolutely compelled now to do everything that she knows how to do to rescue her son but I don't think this is going to go very well I'm hoping that ultimately I just want her to survive I think to be honest the my best expectation of this is that Naomi survives I can't imagine her being able to rescue Philip. I can't imagine Marco letting them go. I just can't. And I dread to think what she's going to have to do to even get close to Philip. So I think that's going to be... Ugh. And we saw there right at the end with Marco and his whole speech with the Belters. And 12 days, 7 hours and like 3 minutes or something. And that's that's it. Fuckity bye. I'm not fully clear on how many asteroids they are or where they're headed. I didn't go back and study um, kind of the last episode because I kind of, I almost, I guess I kind of like being surprised by the show so I don't know everything. But obviously we do know that, that one of that, those asteroids was called Rock 9. I think we heard Rock 4 referenced. So I'm thinking there's quite a few of these things. Um, the one that fell apart was like 21 megaton. I mean, this is like a, a an extinction level event that could be about to happen on Earth. Um, and obviously we were going to have the terror of clearly Amos is going to be... Amos is headed to Earth. I don't want to lose Amos. I can't believe we would lose Amos, but anything is fucking possible in this show. But yeah, I mean, the as you can see, the episode has just left me immensely stressed and anxious to watch the next one, which I will do as soon as I can. That was amazing amazing and the other thing that i forgot to say was that obviously we saw that the proto molecule is still being experimented on by anderson Dawes. i'm guessing that's uh, cortisar is still plugging away um somewhere so you can bet that will end up being probably the storyline that kicks off after earth explodes I love how this show does that it will just plant a little seed oh there's a little thing little thing going on over here but don't worry about it because this thing's way bigger and then it ends up this thing is fucking terrifying so yeah superb until the next time bye bye